home with a view. This is one for you, rain on the van roof nuts. I don't get it personally. Spoon. So it looks like the diesel nonsense stopped me, prevented me from meeting Let's Go Somewhere Travels. Um, we're now going down the east coast of Scotland. Oh, that's annoying. I could have met them if uh, if I could have filled up and uh, left Lancashire early. But I didn't mind being stuck with Steve Bish, Manchester Van Life and Grumpy Mike. That was a hoot. Right, so ne still on the cards are Tam Spoon and Ian Worthy. So, for Johnny Foreigner here, Scotland is huge. Well, by British standards, probably the size of a small US state. So it goes from, yeah, north of England here, from Carlisle to Newcastle upon Tyne. That's the old Hadrian's, well, just north of the old Hadrian's Wall. Um, most populous areas between Glasgow and Edinburgh. And then you've got um, the Great Glen here, which separates sort of the north part of Scotland from uh, there, mid-Scotland. Well, I'm in southern Scotland at the moment, in Dumfries. Tam Spoon is there. And Ian Worthy is in Dunfermline. Just there. So that's handy. I don't looks like I won't have to be travelling too far. And uh, if I can get the time and diesel, I'll go up the north side. But I mean, the North Coast 500 has pretty much been done to death. And if you are interested in North Coast 500, you've probably already seen Will's whereabouts uh, travels around there. He's a funny man. <laughs> So, oh, as I awaken on an industrial estate in Dumfries in West Scotland, I just read some news about the area, is that there's been a mysterious 25% <clears throat> increase in heart attacks caused by blood clots very shortly after a wave of injections. Experts are baffled. Oh, there's the news story right there. <laughs> yeah. Go figure, experts. Oh, what do you know? The sun's coming out. Maybe I can finally charge up my beleaguered leisure batteries and lithium power pack. Hmm. I'm going to have a nice scenic drive heading west um, just inland from uh, the Solway Firth to the Galloway Forest Park sounds like my kind of scene chilled bubbling brooks of fresh water lots of trees, mountains, views yeah, right up my street, that one. <laughs> Let's go.
I can see why other van lifers love just slinking in from the bedroom to the driver's seat. Easy as that. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. And uh, if you want to see an episode where I just, I had like a, a, a quite a solid barrier between the bedroom and the cabin. Yeah. It was a video called Van Gives Birth to Its Own Driver. That was bonkers. Hey, great. I've got a meeting set up. Uh, Tamspoon, Thursday, Loch Lomond, just north of Glasgow. Fantastic. Look forward to seeing you, Tam. Assuming this video goes out before I meet you. Well, so long, Dumfries. I'm sorry I missed you, Alex, but these things happen. In a quarter of a mile, right, left onto Galloway. Shut it. Onto Galloway Forest Park now. Second gear. <laughs> the Galloway tourist route and it is a great driving road. I mean really fast, not like uh, Cumbria or Wales. This is 60 miles an hour <coughs> ish driving, you know. Good sweeping A roads. I love it. And there's something different about Scotland compared to England and Wales and that is with regards to van life is it is common law in Scotland that anyone can camp on any common ground they wish for one night so that's cool so as this is the scenic route I'm gonna take every opportunity to see all the tourist attractions on the way and this way leads to Dum Cold Dram Cold Dram or Dum Cold Dram Tower Dum Cold Dram Tower I don't know what it is let's see <laughs> Oh, for my safety? What the hell? Oh well, that's what it is. If you're really interested, look it up for yourselves. Like you should when you're watching the news. Controversially. Yeah. Do your own research. When I'm talking about a Scottish castle in the middle of. Well, for some rather beautiful rolling hills, actually. Hey! <laughs> I found a spoon. I mean, it's not the metal one, it's one of the old Poundland plastic ones, but it'll do. Ooh! Oh, and I can have a quick. A quick blast of Pong. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's nice.